All right, going to show you how Israel's refusal to hearken unto God actually refutes Calvinism and proves the scriptural doctrine of free will. Let's get right into the scriptures. First of all, in Psalms 81, verse 10 to 14, God is actually bemoaning and mourning over the children of Israel refusing to hearken unto his voice. Okay, Psalms 81, verse 10 to 14. Let's go there. Showing that mankind does have free will and the ability of alternative and contrary choice. Psalms 81, verse 10 to 14. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave up unto their own I gave them up unto their own hearts' lusts, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies, and turned uh, my hands against their adversaries. Notice there, he's bemoaning. He's saying, Oh, if only they had would turn to me. Why? Why is this the case? Well, God would have subdued the enemies of Israel if they just hearkened to his voice, but the children of Israel chose not to, which grieved God. Why? Because they had the power of contrary choice. They had the free will to choose not to hearken unto God, against the will of God. Because if God has, if there's no free will and God just controls everybody like a robot, then why would he be mourning over them rejecting him? It shows that it was against his will for him for them to do that. Uh, also in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 7 to 19, God is again bemoaning and mourning over the children of Israel refusing to hearken to his voice and the results of their refusal to do so. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 7 to 9, 17 to 19. Do you apologize? Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17 to 19. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. O oh, that thou hast hearkened unto my uh, hearkened to my commandments, then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea, thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of my bowels, like the grave thereof, his name should not have been cut off, nor destroyed from me. From before me. Sorry, do apologize, not good at reading that on a computer. But notice that, O oh, that thou hast hearkened unto my commandments. What? He's bemoaning them. He's saying, oh, if, they, if only they had hearkened unto my commandments. But it shows, what does it show? It shows that the children of Israel had the ability to hearken to God's voice, but they chose to do otherwise, and God mourned over their refusal to do so, and their act against the clear will of God. Further proving my point, in Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 9, we see that God is grieved over the, quote, whorish hearts of the children of Israel, which shows that they could have acted otherwise, but chose not to obey God. Ezekiel chapter 6, verse number 9. Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 9. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations, whither they, have, whither they shall be carried captives, because I am broken with their whorish heart, which hath departed from me, and with their eyes, which go whoring after, uh, after their idols, and they shall loathe themselves for the evils that which they have committed in all their, in all their abominations. So again, God is bemoaning that. Because why? The power of contrary choice. The fact that God is grieved over the quote whores hearts shows the children of Israel had the ability to obey or disobey God, and when they acted in disobedience and against God's will, it grieved God. Because they had the choice to do otherwise. It refutes the Calvinist doctrine of, of this complete sovereignty. And by the way, the word sovereignty doesn't even appear in, in the King James Bible. But it refutes the Calvinistic doctrine of complete sovereignty of God and just denial of any free will. Because there is, you know, sovereignty, even though that word doesn't appear in scripture, it is a scriptural concept. God does control stuff. But man still has the, the ability of contrary choice, as we see in these passages right there. And it can grieve God. You know, Paul talks about in Ephesians 4.30, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God as if you can do it. You know, it's not God's will. You can act against it. Why? Because you have free will. Or as, as the Calvinists would call it, libertarian free will. Calvinism is a false doctrine. The denial... I mean, there are some aspects of Calvinism that are in line with the truth. But overall, Calvinism is just a counterfeit. You know, it's, it comes from Augustinianism. It comes from uh, Saint, quote-unquote, Saint Augustine. And I'll be coming up with more videos refuting Calvinism in the future. It is a false doctrine that needs to be exposed. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.